welcome 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 today we are going to be talking about reduction printmaking it is a method of block printing in which each color layer is taken from one block or one plate the more lino is removed by carving from that block and each color is printed on top of the last this means that an entire edition must be printed in one go some of the first things you need include um, a linoleum cutter, a bench hook, and the cutting block. We are using an easy cutting block from Blix. You'll also need um, a design where you can shade the back of your photograph um, and you can go ahead and retrace that onto your linoleum block. You can use your own drawing. I cropped out a photo. Um, and just use that as an example. Transfer it by retracing over the main shapes. In a reduction lino cut, it is a good idea to work from the lightest to the darkest color. I ended up using Sharpies to distinguish the colors and made it a lot easier to cut and it made it a lot easier to know what layer and what color is next when you're carving out. First, you wanna start off by carving away the lightest areas or the white. So I started carving out the clouds and I will print the blue layer first. As dark colors cannot be easily overprinted, um, I would be mindful about the colors that you print on top of each other. I might have switched up my layers. You can use Speedball ink. You can also use some other printmaking ink, but Speedball is what I like to use. Um, I used, originally used um, some disposable palettes and I wish I had used just the plexiglass. The ink should make a sizzling sound, sounding like um, you're cooking bacon in a frying pan. Once you roll out your ink, you can go ahead and lay it down your block. Make sure to get all the edges covered. Can lay it in your registration plate now if you are interested in learning more about the registration plate i can make that into another video again because this is a reduction linoleum print um, you're going to want to have all your paper ready so that you know how many pieces are going to be in your edition i started off with 36 so now I'm gonna start working on my next layer. I'm getting rid of all that blue that I had just printed. Just carving it all away. And I went ahead, I forgot to film this, but I carved and printed two more layers of colors. Um, I made a second lighter color in the background for the sky. As you can see, with you can see the difference in the cooler colors versus the warmer tones. Um, the yellow that got printed on top of the blue kind of looks a little green um, and then the the warmer tone looks a little bit more orange. So I've already carved out my next layer so I'm going to start printing my green layer. Print your plate onto a few scrap pieces of paper before you use one of your precious prints. Um, that way, if you need to carve out any more areas or need to change anything, you can do it before it's too late. Okay, so we've carved out everything. Now we're ready to carve out the green. 
Um, these are what the prints look like from the green. They look kind of nice. Light blues, kind of like got a droop greener. And then this is like the pink warmer one. Okay. But now we are ready to carve out all of this green because we're going to do um, some orange next. Okay. And that's about it. Everything normally comes together with the last layer, which is normally the darkest. Um, and it is going to be the last thing that is preserved on your block. Um, so when you're ready, you just go ahead and print your black layer. I felt like my prints needed this final contrast with um, just pure black ink. Since this was my sixth and final color pass, I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and clean, the registration was lined up, and so I really took my time with this last layer. Sometimes you can fix a messed up print with some of the later layers by covering up some of those mistakes. rolling out your print my favorite part is peeling back the layer to see how the print turned out and I absolutely love this final layer it provides such good contrast um, and it makes all the colors really pop um, as you can see the individual layers um, I wasn't able to print the first two but you can see what they look like on um, the clean white paper and um, this is the addition that I ended up making well, there you have it. The prints turned out amazing and my family and friends love them. Thank you so much for joining me through this printmaking reduction demo. Um, I wanted to document this process and be able to share it with future students. But if you are interested in more demos and videos, please subscribe to Rena Rika Studios. And I hope you take the opportunity to try some printmaking. Thanks again.